All right, you guys, so it's been about two months since I got the Apple Vision Pro, and I wanted to do a quick video uh, sort of explaining how I'm using it, what the primary use case is. So when I first got it, I sort of had visions that I would be you know, using it, walking around, and placing windows in space and stuff. And I've tried it, and it's a really cool sort of like experience to be able to do that. But as far as day-to-day -day usage, it's not so practical, okay? Like they show demos of people cooking and giving you instructions and stuff like that. And I was hoping like, oh, maybe you could like look at your HomeKit light and turn it off or turn it on and stuff. Um, you know, that software doesn't exist yet, but those are the kinds of ideas of what I would be using it for. But the reality is, is that right now it's a little bit too heavy to do that. And the pass through, while it's supposedly the best of any headset, I haven't used that many to be honest, so I don't know. But the headset is not clear enough to walk around without a little bit of discomfort. Okay, now if you wanna do a little bit of walking around, it's great, but the primary way I use this is really as a large display, okay, an ergonomic display because it's just a little bit too heavy to be kind of having it on your face all the time. So I'm gonna show you how I use it. Um, first, let me kind of show you the setup and how I carry it and uh, the case and stuff like that. So first of all, you can use it with the, the uh, whatever these are called, AirPods Max headphones. Um, one of the things I used to do, and I still do, with my headphones is in order to keep these pads clean, okay? Because when they get dirty, then they're kind of a pain in the butt to clean. So what I like to do instead of having to clean them all the time is I'll wear one of these beanies, or they're really not beanies, but they're for people that wanna run or wear them under their helmet or something. It's like a lightweight beanie. And so what I do is I'll be able to have protection between this pad and my skin so the oils and stuff don't get this thing all dirty. Okay, and the same thing applies with the, the top of this light seal. If I pull this down just enough, then I can keep at least half of this clean, okay? The, the bottom part, and again, you can clean this and you can buy a new one and stuff, but they're just really kind of not fun to clean. And so just to keep, especially this thing clean, and the light seal, I like to wear the beanie, okay? So basically my setup is, I put this thing on, and then if somebody was standing there, it would show my eyes, but since it's just a camera, it doesn't know that there's actually a person watching me. So then I can put my headphones on, and the cool thing is, is I can like be in this meditative posture and I can be controlling things, right? It's super cool. It's like that picture of Steve Jobs that I have in my office where he's sitting with his Mac. Well, this is like the full, you know, realization of that dream, the true bicycle of the mind, right? And this actually has made me think a lot about what is a computer for? And I have a lot of thoughts, but they're kind of disorganized and I tried to do a video of it but um, you're gonna have to wait for that. Um, but subscribe and then in the future when I release the video, I wanna talk about you know, what is the bicycle of the mind? What are computers actually for? Because this is a totally new form factor that we don't really see with what we think of as a computer and yet it's a computer, right? So anyways, I'll do that video when I get the time. Um, but yeah, so I can be here and I can be navigating apps and stuff. Now, the apps really aren't that um, sophisticated yet. It's like generation one product and the apps are pretty basic. And even things like the home screen, like you can't rearrange apps or anything like that. So the software on it, while it's amazing and it's super sophisticated in terms of windows floating and stuff, the actual software itself is pretty primitive in terms of the use cases. So what I find is the primary way I use this is to mirror my Mac, okay? And it's actually transformed my office for the better, okay? Before I bought it, I said, you know, 
um, I was talking about how I'd use it for better ergonomics and this is what I was looking forward to and I showed you my office and how I thought it would solve it and it has solved that. So I'm gonna show you that um, in a little bit. First, let me show you kind of the case that I got. So I ended up getting this sort of cheaper case. I think it's only like $30 or something off of Amazon, but it fits in my backpack, which is a lot better than the Apple one, which is really expensive. And it's like, if you wanna carry it onto an airplane or if you wanna do something like that, then you actually have to have like a separate bag. You know what I mean? Whereas this one, I can put everything in here, including the charger. Okay, it's all, it all fits in there, like the cleaning cloth and this. I never really use this, but if you don't have the setup like I'm gonna show you, then this can make things more comfortable. Okay, so it's good for travel. Okay, so I put everything in here. I can zip this thing up. Okay, and I could throw this in my backpack. Okay, it's a good size. So I can carry this onto an airplane. Okay, no problem. All right, I could even barely put these headphones in too. And it all fits. Okay, and I could also put my laptop and my iPad in here if I want to take those as well. Okay, the laptop is essential. The iPad, now that I have the Vision Pro, it's nice to have, but it's not a travel essential anymore. So, um, so yeah, that's how I, I store it. Now, what I want to do is show you how my office has transformed now that I have the Apple Vision Pro. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. All right, so here's my office setup now that I've integrated the Apple Vision Pro into my setup. So if you remember before I had the Apple Vision Pro, this monitor used to be hovering over this reclining chair. Okay, and if I wanted to do a marathon session, uh, coding or whatever, or I wanted to keep my back comfortable, then I'd move over here, put my feet up, and I'd have the monitor sort of hovering over this uh, reclining chair. Okay, but now with the Apple Vision Pro, I can have a screen floating in the air that's much bigger than 30 inches. And so what I've done is I've moved this monitor back to the desk. Okay, and so if I wanna be at the treadmill in the morning when I check my email and stuff, then that's when I use this. And then I can just leave my computer on here indefinitely and I can just mirror the screen when I'm ready to sit down. Okay, so it's a really good setup. Um, I'm quite happy with it. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like now. All right, you guys, so this is my sort of routine and my setup when I wanna use the Apple Vision Pro uh, for mirroring my Mac. So what I do is I get on the recliner and there's a couple things that are probably gonna need some explanation. First of all, this blanket is an earthing blanket as well as this headband that now I use as a collar because there's a lot on my head if I use it as a headband. So what the heck is this? Okay, I know it looks ridiculous, but I'm gonna live to 120 at least while everybody who's laughing at me won't. Um, basically, I've been using this for like a decade at my computer, but now I use it with Apple Vision Pro, especially since there's all this Wi-Fi and antennas on my face, right? So basically the guy found that if you're barefoot on the ground, then you have less inflammation in the body. Okay, that's a simple way of saying it. Um, and so what they do is they have these um, things that have silver threads in them. And then you plug this into the grounding part of the outlet and you're basically connected to the ground. Okay, and you can have similar benefits as if you were barefoot on the ground. Nothing is better than being barefoot on the ground. So I like to go to the beach at least once a day just to walk barefoot on the beach. But um, this I found gives me more endurance when I'm at my computer, okay? I, if I'm around electronics, I can feel the sort of numbness that comes along with wherever the antennas are. And so since I have all the stuff so close to my face, um, it's sort of like a safety precaution that I have the earthing mat or the earthing uh, band. Now you may think it's ridiculous. I know it looks ridiculous, but again, I'm gonna live till 120 at least while well, you guys that are laughing at me probably are. All right, so first of all, 
I put on this. Again, I used to have it as a headband, but since I have the, uh, the Vision Pro and the headphones, it's just too much on the, the top. So I put it down here on the collar. Okay, so then I'll put the Vision Pro on. Okay, and then finally the headphones. Now, if I'm at my computer, um, now if I'm gonna use my computer, then I'll also bring the mouse and the keyboard over there. Okay, and I have this buckwheat pillow that sort of fits my keyboard just perfectly. So I have it right there so it's in a good ergonomic position. Okay, now I'm gonna start recording my screen here. Okay, so now I'm recording the screen um, and so you can see what I see, okay? So one of the cool things about the Vision Pro is that you can have these environments, right? So I almost always will turn on the Joshua Tree environment uh, when I'm here at my computer. Um, it adjusts to the daytime or nighttime, or sorry, yeah, daytime or nighttime. But for the sake of filming this, I'm gonna turn it to the daytime because it'll be easier to, to for the recording, okay? So here I am, have this all set up. I wanna mirror my desktop. So I click up here and I say Mac virtual display and then voila. A Mac that's on my desk over there is now here, okay? So then I can have my keyboard, my mouse, just like normal. Perfect, right? Now, if I wanna have a Vision Pro window up here, I can just tap like this. I can grab, let's say, ChatGPT, so I can get some help with my coding. And then, there you go. I can copy and paste things um, down here. Okay, very nice, right? So this is a Vision Pro app. This is my Mac OS, okay? Now the keyboard even will work sometimes. Sometimes it's a little bit finicky, but I found that if I just say like arrow up, arrow down, then I can start saying hello, okay? And so this keyboard, which is connected to my Mac, is also controlling the Vision Pro apps, okay? Apparently, for whatever reason, the, uh, the trackpad will work if you wanna use the cursor, but the, the mouse won't, okay? And I just, I'm so used to using a mouse on my computer that I, I can't use a trackpad, okay? But what I can do is I can still use my fingers and stuff like that, so it's still cool. Uh, let's say I wanna get some music going, then I'll open up the music app, okay? I'll make it really small, and then I'll put it over here, okay? So this is like my workflow. Um, when I'm sitting up like this, my neck will get tired eventually. And so what I'll do is I'll just lean back and I can drag this screen up here, maybe put this one down here. And I have this set up where I can let my neck relax. And normally after you know a minute, five minutes, it's relaxed and then I can sit back up and get in a more active position. Okay, so this is the primary way that I use my Apple Vision Pro is this sort of setup. Okay, I love it. It's actually very nice. Um, for the longest time, I wanted to get this alt work station, which is like a desk that allows you to do a similar setup to what I'm doing. Uh, but I never got around to buying it because it's pretty expensive. But now with the Apple Vision Pro, which is really about the same price as that thing, I'm able to have this kind of workaround. Okay, it's a very similar setup. Um, and I'm happy with it, okay? So let me show you how I get out. So I'll close all my windows. Of course, you don't have to, but I'm just kind of OCD like that. And then I'm gonna twist the knob to get out of my environment, okay? Then I'm going to start taking things off. So headphones. And then let's stop, stop the recording. And then I'll take off the Vision Pro. Okay, and then I'll take off 
my earthing collar. Okay, and so that's that's the setup, and um, that's the primary way I use my Apple Vision Pro. Okay, when I first got it, I sort of didn't know what I'd use it for, but I had these visions of sort of walking around and having windows all over the place, which I've tried and it's great, but it's just a little bit too heavy and the keyboard isn't good enough. Uh, you could only do finger pecking. And so it's not good enough to really have a full seamless experience. Uh, maybe someday in the future it will. And that especially as these things get lighter, then it'll be much better to walk around with. Okay, but for now, the killer app, the primary way I use it is just to mirror my display and have the setup like I'm showing you right now. Okay, I think it's worth it for me. I'm really excited for the future of this technology. It's super cool. Um, but again, this is sort of how I use it. So thanks for watching this video and um, I'll see you in another one. Bye.